7. Writing an email asking for information Before we proceed, I want you please to watch 3C1 and 2, Vocabulary and Grammar, that is essential for today's lesson. A. Below is an email Peter has sent to his friend. Sent is the past of send. Gavin. Gavin is Peter's friend. Gavin recently stayed not long ago. He stayed at a campsite and was very pleased with it. He really loved it. He was happy, satisfied. Peter wants to go camping this summer and would like some information, facts and details about this campsite. What do you think Peter is going to ask about? Don't read now. First of all, tell me, what do you think Peter will ask his friend Gavin about this campsite? Look at the picture. If you were going camping at this place, what would you like to know? Well, I'd like to know if the weather is nice. That's one. Two, what equipment, what things do I have to take with me? Three, I would like to ask about the best location. Where should I set up my camp? These three things. Now let's read and find out if Peter asked about different things. Hi, Gavin. How are things? How are you? Listen, you stayed at the campsite last summer, and you really liked it there, right? You loved it. Well, I need some information, please. Could you tell me a bit more about it? A little more about it? Firstly, the first thing, can you hire tents? Look, I don't want to buy a new tent, I want to hire. When you hire, you pay a small amount of money to use somebody's tent for a short period of time. And then you have to give it back and you will not get your money back. Or do I have to bring my own? Bring to get my own, my own, my tent. It's mine, my tent, not somebody else's. Also, does it have showers? Can I take a shower when I'm camping? And what are they like? If yes, if there are showers, what are they like? Describe them to me. Finally, could you tell me how much it costs? How much money do I have to bring with me? Do you pay daily or every week? Pay, give money daily every day or every week i am planning i am making arrangements to go next month so please send me a reply answer to this email answer these questions and write back to me with any information thanks a lot bye for now peter now, if you need to, read again and answer the following questions. How many questions does Peter ask about the campsite? Let's count them. Should we count this? How are things? Is this a question about the campsite? No, so this doesn't count. Search for question marks. This is a question mark. One, two, three, and four. Four questions. Two. Which words does he use to list them? Okay, he could have said question one, question two, question three. He didn't say that. What did he use instead of using that? He used firstly, also, and finally to list his questions. Three. What kind of questions has he used? Read this question. Could you tell me a bit more about it? Now, is this a direct question or indirect question? If you start with, do you know, could you tell me, would you tell me? 
Can you inform me? These are indirect questions. Read this question. Do you pay daily or every week? This is a direct question. So, he used both. Direct and indirect questions. If you don't know what they are, watch the grammar video I told you about. C. Look at the ideas below. Tick the kind of information you would ask about if you wanted to know more about the hotel. This is a hotel. Let's say that you are going to this hotel. What would you like to know? Tick the information you would like to know about. First, prices. Prices means the money you will pay. Would you like to learn about the money, the prices? Yes, that is very important. Wi-Fi connection. Yes, everybody has a smartphone or a smart device and we need this. What about business center? Well, if I'm going for pleasure, not business, then no, I don't really care. A gym, a place where you can work out. Well, I go to the gym regularly in Jeddah, so if I go to a different city, I would really love to keep up with my training, so yes. Swimming pool? No, the gym is enough. Balcony? Like this. Is it important to you to have a balcony in your room? For me? No, it's not. I will not take this. Parking? A place to park your car. Well, I will not take my car with me, so I don't care. Air conditioning, that is essential. I hate hot weather. TV, no, I have my laptop and my smart devices. I don't care about TV. Location, location means where this hotel is. What's near this hotel? Is this important to you? Very. You want to make sure that it's not far away from the fun sites. Close to public transport. What we mean by this public transport is like taxi, underground, bus. If I'm not taking my car with me, then yes, I want it to be close to public transport. View. When you go out in a balcony, what would you like to see? Is it important to you what you see? Or when you open the window in your room? Is it important to you what you will see when you open the window? Not really. I will not take this. Your answer could be different from mine. These are my personal preferences. You could have yours. Writing task. D. You are planning a trip. You go from your city to a different one to Paris. Your friend recently stayed at a hotel there and was very pleased, very happy with it, with the hotel he's been to. Write an email to your friend asking for information about the hotel. Choose three ideas from activity C. This is activity C, and these are the ideas I ticked. Use three of them, not all of them. I will use prices, gym, and public transport. We will write an email, and our email should be between 80 to 100 words. Here is a tip before you start. When writing an email asking for information, remember that you should use set phrases, phrases, groups of words that together give a particular meaning. Like what? Like, I'm interested in, I want some information about, I'd like to know. Use some of these phrases. Use words or phrases to list your questions. Like, firstly, first of all, to begin with, next, then, 
also, in addition, finally, don't use direct questions only. No, you learned how to make indirect questions use that as well. Like what? Like, can you tell me? Do you know? Could you tell me? And by saying thanks and mentioning and writing that you'd like a reply as soon as possible. Very fast, very shortly. Are you ready now to write that email? Open your email and start writing. Don't copy mine, I'll show you the email I've written. Don't copy it, use it as a guide. Hi Gabe, my friend's name is Gabe. How is life? Listen, you stayed at a hotel in Paris. And you were very pleased with it, right? Well, I'm interested in going too. Would you give me some information about it? First of all, are hotels really expensive in Paris? How much money do I have to have with me? Do the hotels have gyms and what are they like? Describe the gyms, the equipment I can find in the gym. Finally, could you tell me how much public transportation costs? How much should I pay for a taxi or a bus? I am planning to go in July. Paris is lovely, the weather is very nice in July. I am waiting for a reply as soon as possible. Please write back very shortly. Thanks a lot. Bye for now. Mu'tasim. Thank you for watching this video. If you like it, share it with friends. I will leave you now with one workbook exercise. I'll see you again next time, inshallah. Goodbye.